And we all know the name Sandra Hughes, a local church wanted to make sure kids in Greensboro know about the news to legend too. United Institutional Churches Youth Program has hosted Black History Month programs all month long. They teach kids in the church about prominent black people from the triad. This week they chose Sandra. The youth pastor says it's all about making sure the kids see their potential. It's to know, let them know that you can do anything that the possibility is endless. To let them know that there are athletes, there are stars, there are even news anchors and TV prodigies that just might have had to go through some fights. It lets them know that you might be going through something now, but realize there is potential inside each and every one of us. We caught up with Sandra today. She says she was surprised to hear her name mentioned. She hopes her legacy is one of perseverance. Think about what you want to do. Think about where you're wanting to do it happens. Think about the other people that are around that and just keep fighting for it. Don't ever give up. If you give up, you've lost and you don't want to play any life games where you lose. You got to keep going until you just get stomped down and can't do it anymore. As you know, Sandra paved the way for so many. In 1974, she became the first black woman to host a program right here on WFMY. She earned the coveted Edward R. Morrow Award for news reporting. Sandra was inducted into the state's Broadcasters Hall of Fame. And in 2002, she was honored with the North Carolina Governor's Order of the Longleaf Pine. That's the state's top honor.